What's going on guys, South 7 Boys here. It's been a little while since we filmed the video. Uh, today, we're gonna be working on our 1986 Corolla. This is the first real video we filmed on this car. I know you guys haven't seen much of it before. Uh, and I know at first glance, the first thing you guys are gonna be thinking is, damn, those are some good looking calipers. I wish my calipers looked that good. Well, let me tell you, they didn't always look this good, but if you guys stay tuned, you're gonna find out how to make your calipers look just as good as these ones. All jokes aside, this should be a pretty easy rebuild for you guys. This car ended up being a nightmare to rebuild the calipers on because of how seized and rusty they were. Um, this was a, a few month long project while waiting for parts and stuff like that. So you're gonna see a lot of different seasons in this video. Um, and it's gonna be sort of anticlimactic because we got these on, got them ready to bleed. Turns out the hard lines running front to rear are completely rotted. So that's what we're gonna be fixing soon. So we weren't actually able to bleed them, but uh, we'll show you how to rebuild the fronts. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we got the wheel off here. As you can see, these brakes are super crusty. I knew that beforehand. I was having trouble getting some parts, so I didn't get to this sooner. Um, but basically, we got to take off, should be one bolt here. That should let this caliper fold up and then slide off a pin that's in here. And then there'll be two bolts holding this bracket on. So let's uh, see if it's as easy as that sounds. Cool, no? yeah. So we've got that pin out right here, came out of here. So now that's the only thing that actually secures the brake caliper onto the uh, bracket. So this the whole thing should be able to swing up. It's not going to be that easy because I've already done the other side. I know how seized they are. Um, but let's see if it's going to wiggle at all. Yeah, there she goes. Here we go. There we go. Not too hot, I'll we'll swing that up out of the way. Okay, didn't film that because I needed both hands for it, but thankfully both bolts came out a lot easier than the other side. So two bolts came out and then the bracket just, ooh, that's still hot, the bracket just slides off like that. So we're gonna go clean this up and see if we can start rebuilding the uh, calipers. Well, I did a montage of cleaning these things, but apparently I didn't hit record. So this one's done now. These are never going to be perfect. They're, I don't have a sandblaster or like an electrolysis bath or anything like that. Hit it with a flap wheel on an angle grinder. Try not to take off too much material. And uh, yeah, it's good enough for me. We're going to degrease this and then we're going to rattle bomb it. All right guys, so we've got these calipers cleaned up as good as they're going to be for the time being. So they're obviously out of the car and we are ready to start disassembling them. So basically we just have to take everything off this thing so it can be cleaned up properly. The bleed nipple, this is where the brake line goes in. 
This is just a boot that needs to be removed. I don't know if the lighting is good there. This is just a boot that needs to be removed. This pin should slide out, this boot needs to come out, and then the piston needs to come out, which uh, was seized on the other one. Typically, you would just put a compressed air line in here somehow, just jam it in there, open some air up, and it'll pop out. Uh, if it's seized, we might have to put some penetrating oil in around, pry on a little bit, and see if we can get it loose. All right, let's dig into it. We do up here. There we go. Okay, so let's put some compressed air to this thing. So I would definitely take this with a grain of salt, but these are little attachments I have for my air hose. And this thread actually threads into here. I don't know if it's perfect, but it works well enough that I can jam this in here, get a good enough seal and actually pressurize this. If I screw this onto it properly, this doesn't fit in here. It's loose. So the other way around actually kind of works. And we're not tightening this down too much, so I don't think it'll actually damage the threads at all. And you're definitely going to want to jam a rag or something in here because this literally sounds like a gun when it lets go. Also definitely wear safety glasses because you'll get crap shooting out from all sorts of different directions when you pressurize this thing. And keep your fingers clear. Oh yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Oh, maybe I should put that back in. No wonder it's seized. Oh my god. Just something just dripped on my hand. You probably saw that on camera. That's because the ceiling is covered in brake fluid. <laughs> Can you see it moving in there? It wants to come loose. It's coming. It's coming. Oh my god. Let's see your ears ring, boys. Oh, Lee. All right. That's how you get a, a piston out of your caliper. So, like I said, I use one of these tiny little, uh, I don't know if you call them eyeglass screwdrivers or something. And it's gonna be stuck in there due to 40 years of rust, but this one is typically the easier one to pull out. Uh, yeah, it was actually going there. See that pop out there, guys? exactly what we want. Nice. And we actually, that was just pure luck that we grabbed it at one end. And now we just got to pull this boot out. All right, so we've got these calipers all cleaned up here. They are kind of painted poorly. They're really crusty still, but looks better than it did before. You can see all the uh, seals are pulled out of there. That's all cleaned up inside. This caliper is ready to rebuild. So we're gonna grab our Toyota caliper rebuild kit and get started on this. I've never done this before, so hopefully I do it right. You guys are gonna be along for the ride. 
So we're basically just replacing everything that we just took out. You just saw us take it all apart. This thing is probably as clean as it's gonna get. I'm probably gonna go a little overkill on this. I'm greasing this stuff up just because a little bit of peace of mind. There we go. Alright, so that's all greased up in there. I think the next step is to actually insert the cylinder again. Which we've got here. Cleaned that up a little bit earlier. I think you want that to be a pretty snug fit. I know you don't want it all the way in. You want to be able to get the seal on there as well. And by seal, I mean one of these little guys. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way so I don't lose it or ruin it. So this, this thing is directional. You can see that the inner lip sits lower uh, when you're holding it this way, then down here it's nice and flush down here on the bottom. I believe you want this side to go on this way. You want the, the most flat side against the piston. I think it's in. This is gonna be a nightmare, I can already tell. I think it's supposed to sit down that low. I'm going to snap. All right, had to turn the camera off because I was losing my mind on that little ring. But we got it in there, I think. I have no way of telling if it's in there enough, but I can't see it anymore and it's in the spot that it's supposed to be. So I'm ho hoping it's okay. Anyways, next step is that little cap thing that we just popped out of here is going back in. We got a new one here. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's easiest if you have a vise. Let me turn off that weird backlighting that we got going on there. Um, let's see. I want to grease this up nice and greasy again. Make everything nice and frustrating to do. Even a little, put a little bit of grease on the inside of that too. Nice and slippery. Nice and frustrating. All right, that's greased up. My GoPro is greased up accidentally. I have a little piece of cardboard here to help line things up. You want this thing to be ready to go in. Don't know what that's called. And you're gonna to wanna to use a 22 mil socket. And you're gonna to wanna to pray that your vise opens wide enough. It does. So the socket is gonna go Hopefully over the boot. You don't want to push down on the boot. You want to push down on that steel lip. All right. I'm greasing this all up again. Way overkill, I put way too much grease on this. Get yeah, grease.
grease the inside of this a little bit. Jam that right on through there, pop this side back over, make sure that bushing sits in that groove there. Probably can't see the groove because of all the grease. All right, so we should have everything we need here to reinstall this caliper. We've got our rebuilt caliper. We've got some lubricant for all the sliding components. We've got a new uh, brake pad hardware kit here. We should have everything we need to install the brake pads. And we've got our new brake pads here. go and you want to make sure there's a little groove on the pin you want to make sure to get this boot up onto that groove so that it stays seated properly per side I think we need to do to use these clips we've got one two three four five of them these two go down up in here sits up in there somehow I guess the maybe the brake pad will hold that in place a little bit better the mirror image of that one goes down on the bottom here I'm guessing this is supposed to have a little bit of tension against that part of it but I think my brackets are so rusty that it's not really holding it in there anymore hopefully that doesn't cause any issues this little guy sits right in here on the back side and the pad can ride on that. And then this big complex looking guy, I think goes up underneath here, something like that. And this acts as like a little shroud to protect the boot right there. I think this one's gonna be the biggest nightmare to get on there. And then this long skinny guy sits in the back here and the brake pad rides on that. So now that you guys know where everything goes, I'm going to cut to a little time lapse here, lube all this up, fight with the brake pads and try to get them all in here, okay? Now I think we can pull this out. Drop that down. Go get a bolt to tighten that down. And we should be good to bleed. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I know that was kind of a long and kind of boring technical video, but hopefully it gave you guys some information and kind of introduced the, the Corolla to the channel. Uh, our next video, we're going to be pulling out the rear end of the car and redoing the bushings. If you guys are interested, I can do a video on how to rebuild the rear calipers because we've got the kit for that on the way. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.